I think recording is not. Uh... Yeah. Good morning, guys. Today we are going to look at symbol table. What is the use of symbol table? See first. What is the need of symbol table? More or less same. What is the use and need? Next, runtime storage organization, stack allocation, access to non-local data, heap management, parameter passing mechanism. You all know bits and pieces of these all earlier before even stepping into this subject. But today we are going to look at in a formal way. That's all. That is the only difference. Introduction to garbage collection, references, counting garbage collector. These are all into one kind of scenario. These are all almost I can say memory management skill for different purposes. Subsequently, machine independent code optimization. This is what your next uh, topic of discussion. With that note, let me start. What is symbol table? Why symbol table? What is the use, etc. Now, symbol table is an important data structure created maintained during the compilation. What is symbol table? See, first we need to understand what is symbol. Symbol is all of anything we create symbolically, symbolic names. What are all symbolic names? The moment you are given the program to do sum of three number int a comma b comma c, you will be doing these a comma b comma c are all said to be symbolic names that's all how do we maintain these all symbolic names these symbolic names are collected or harvested and it is stored in the table like a man memory table like form or memory simply we can say memory it is all stored in the memory that memory is called symbol table that's all so what are all symbols then then if you look at symbols variable names constants procedure name function name in your perspective there is no procedure name you guys are minimum the language structure you started learning is c c plus plus java these all the language works on the principle called function there are language which we studied fortran cobol these all worked in the uh, concept called procedure pascal fortran cobol these those days we worked in the uh, concept called procedure so the, that's all nothing to worry what is the difference between procedure and function the difference is written value if there is no written value it is called as no written value it is called as procedure you have a written value it is called as function that's all this is the only difference between procedure those days to the procedure we will pass parameters that is possible we used to pass parameters even for the function it is permits for parameters you can pass parameters one parameter or no parameter at the maximum case i'm telling function will have a return value here there is no return value no return value concept is called procedure it has a parameter mechanism here in the function you will have a return value parameter passing mechanism now you need to tell written value earlier days it is called single return value recent days we reached up to the level multiple return values where it is possible multiple return values you can text it or you can unmute multiple return values what is the meaning you can return more number of values as a return value more than one value more than two values you can return as a return value you can you say example for multiple return value which language supports that there are several recent language supports you can mention one such language which is supported python very good if you look at python it 
so return several return values that is the reason multiple value assignment is possible in the python so very first notion is you should be in the position to assign multiple values both rhs and lhs vice versa so in this case multiple you can assign multiple values to multiple variables single value to multiple variable these two options only available similarly a yeah, inbuilt function it can return one such example is model data split you will be using one function for data split it will return four parameter x train x test y train y test so that is one famous you anybody would have come across one small data um, modeling anything in small modeling if you would have done also definitely would have noticed so it will it returns more values so that's all python is one such example for multiple return values that's all this is what the foundation symbolic name what in order to store symbol symbols first symbol table is used what is a symbol it's a symbolic name but one such example you are familiar example is if i ask you to do sum of three numbers or sum of two number immediately you will be creating some three variables a b c so these three variables are termed as symbolic names so you need to collect all the symbolic names and you need to put it in the table form or memory form it's absolutely memory but all the associated information regarding to this symbol you are storing that is why it is called memory under table that's all what and all will go to the uh, symbol table number 1 the name of the symbol itself name itself will go then data type then scope whether it is local variable or global variable or uh, like a c language if you have stack variable and you have a static variable you have external variable register variable auto variable these are all the types of uh, storage uh, scope you will be having so that is scope what is the scope the scope is the information or related to uh, accessibility of the variable technically we can say accessibility of the variable accessibility one minute accessibility of the variable so this is what what is accessibility scope see for example you you are living in a house your neighbor is also living in a house how much you are access you are permitted to go to their room are you permitted to open their bureau they may allow you to come in you may even have a cup of coffee coffee you may even play with their children that is fine but you are not allowed to access their house jewelries their important documents their money anything or their personal matter never ever they are permitting you but within your house you are permitted to access any item even your own house parents will put some restrictions the valuable documents valuable jewels they don't even ask you to deal they don't even show you so that is also possible that's fine fantastic so scope you would have understood what is scope when it becomes a, a computer programming language in let us take for example ordinary c program a simple c program you understand there is a main function main supposed to be in small there is a main function you can write any other function like int add you can write a function add function now what is the scope is the variable which all are declared here is local the scope is only this much within these two curly bracket the variables which over you are this declared here can be accessed permitted fully to access the moment suppose here you are declaring int x comma y now here it is not permitted to x plus or y plus 10 it is not permitted to access access denied you will get error because the scope of these variables are local scope is local to this function for this function it is local if you want to extend the visibility scope or visibility it is called visibility visibility if you want to extend you need to push this to before the function then it becomes global if i declare here int a comma p then a and b are 
global variable what is global variable is you will write a program called first program first dot c throughout the program this global variable is visible can be accessed what is the local variable you cannot access how this all you will notify to the entire compiler entire program your program is dynamic in nature means sorry static in nature you the guy just to open the editor you will write first dot c that's all you will write something it's a kind of static text finally you need to make it to become alive and dynamic it needs to execute it needs to communicate to the internal component of the computer it needs to work the entire code which you typed it looks like a static only how this all becoming dynamic how this all becoming executable how your code is communicating different hardware component of the computer is all about the compiler within that the symbol now how your symbol is executed fed input to the cpu taken the output how it is stored in the memory how your initial value is stored what is the initial value of every variable we used to look at no initial value will be zero initial value will be garbage value unknown value like that then how it is periodically updated same variable you may write a code of 2000 lines also the variable which you have declared in the beginning you will be throughout the 2000 line of your project you will be using how periodically you are updating the value how you are displaying the value this all stuff related to symbol table this is the introduction i can say all about symbol table hope so you would have understood what is symbol table just we we'll go to the formal discussion these are a intuitive way of understanding what is all about symbol what is the meaning of symbol table the intuitive uh, principle only i have discussed it is one of the important data structure the moment you say table or you moment you say memory table these all called uh, data structure so created and maintained by the compiler the subject itself compiler design then symbol table who will maintain compiler only will maintain what is the use it is maintaining it will keep track of semantics of the variable already we said what is the semantic is meaning or context context of the variable see every one of you can able to read the word etymology this word since you are familiar with english alphabet you can read pronounce this word but what is the meaning the moment if i ask meaning of this semantic or context of this may not be possible you some of you may not be knowing some of you may be knowing that is different so when you know the meaning of this context of this when to use where to use this all in and out of that word etymology if you are familiar familiar then you are said as you know semantic of this word etymology is root or origin of the english word knowing no study of english word english english word study of root or origin who coined that word when it is coined why it is coined etc etc so this is called semantic similarly here what is semantic is you should be not you compiler should be in the position of understanding semantic of each and every symbol which are all created by the user so then symbol table is helpful for this semantic actions also it stores information about scope binding information information about instances of various entities such as variable function name classes objects these all are called as symbols simple symbol we started with abc the complex symbol can be set as structure classes objects function name procedure name constant name string name etc now i am going to explain you what is this binding information so let us start this this you may need to understand little bit carefully so here each and every keyword which is written here hope so by this time you would be understanding what i mean to say before stepping into binding information just i will go through what are all called symbol table or symbol 
symbol table is meant for storing variable name, constant name, procedure name, function name, literal or constant or strings, string literal or numerical literal. The numerical constant is called a literal. String is also called as literal. Compiler generated temporaries. Compiler, a yeah, three address code generation, quadruple uh, code generation, so indirect uh, three address code generation. By the time I would have explained to you all how it is creating temporary variables. Given the expression, it will broken it into smaller expressions. Every smaller sub expression results, to, results are stored in the temporary variable. Those temporary variables are called temporaries. Labels, if you look at go to function, go to we used to give label. These all are called symbols. That's it. <clears throat> Not only these are, I can say classes, objects, structure. Further, I can say these all fall into fit into uh, symbol table. These all also symbol table. Now let us look at what is binding information. Rather than binding information, I just write name binding. Name binding is the appropriate word. What is all about? It has two different static and dynamic. What is static and dynamic? For example, I'm creating A comma B comma C. It is static. The moment I create compiler will start fixing the static information, static binding over. So some scope or some value, some memory configuration, everything is binded. What is dynamic? Polymorphism, object creation, object creation. Every object can have several names. So you will be creating object. You just recall your C expertise, C++ expertise, or you can recall about your Java expertise. Polymorphism. Until that line is executed, which object is referred, which are all the names associated with the object. For example, you can create your object student object. What is student object? Name of the object is student. Internally, it has several names. I need set of information regarding student. Name of the student, number, phone number of the student, parent name of the student, mark score of the student, blood group of the student, address of the student. I can collect several entities, several names for the object called student. That all the object, sorry, that object contains several names. It needs, it all need to be binded together. Every name is a separator. It is a kind of simple symbol. If I internally object has several names, please understand. Class creation, after class object instantiation, these are all the words you will come across. How it is binding? How many objects are created by the user? When the time of object instantiation, object creation, what it is doing? It starts binding several names to the object. Similarly in the structure also. What is structure? Collection of several names binded towards the structure. Then structure object creation. These all dynamic in nature. See, you will create a structure or the object with four names. In five minutes, you will include one more name. The teacher says, comes and says, why you didn't include address into the object of the student? Immediately you will include. Then you will remove. I don't want roll number just to include your name. Then you will remove. So it's all dynamically changeable. Binding can happen only at the time of compilation. What are all the names together binded to that object? Hope so. What I am telling you can able to understand because it's a single object. Internally, you will have several names. Just to recall how you are declaring a class. How you are creating an object in Java or C++ or simple to consider C language structure itself. So what is a structure? Collection of several simple data type, simple construct makes one structure. So these are called dynamic. This is called name binding, then scope binding. This all comes into the picture. Hope so. What is this word? 
binding information about name. This is called simply a name binding. You can write instead of this much big word, you can write name binding also. These all happening. These all possible with the support of symbol table. Name binding, static name, uh, static and dynamic. Dynamic only example for polymorphism object creation. So these two are possible only with the support of symbol table. These all are available entries of the symbol table. These all a foundation, very essential foundation. What and all can be stored in symbol table only we are telling. Why symbol table? Let us see. Now, information used by compiler from the symbol table. What are all the information compiler uses? Finally, symbol table Hey, symbol table is created by the compiler. Fun, you look at the fun. Symbol table is created by the compiler. The same compiler only utilizes the symbol table benefit. It creates, it benefits. That's all. We only cook and we only eat. I am cooking every day, I am eating. It is like that. Compiler design only creating and the same compiler design one, compiler only benefiting. Nobody else. That's all. So the, that is a direct answer for users. So what is the use of this symbol table for the compiler? Data type, name, name of the variable data type, declaring procedures, local declaration or global declaration, offset in storage. So what is the offset is from where to where you can create and delete. For example, array, array offset is different from normal variable. Object offset is different from normal variable. Structure object offset creation is different from normal variable. What is the offset? So you need to find out int a I am declaring initial memory uh, given for this variable is 2000 a. Let us imagine next I am declaring int b then what is the where it will be stored is the question where it is this is since a is my first uh, identifier it is my first data type uh, or first variable there will be always uh, initial location will be fixed so in order to speed up the program so initial location it will go and sit there is no worry where it will be stored next question is b variable where it will be stored then it will find out the offset for b variable offset is essential how it is going to essential how it is going to create offset is size of size of a size of a let us take for example two bytes plus what is the initial address of a size of a plus initial address of a now 2000 a let us take for example 2000 a same something like that then from in which it will start adding two bytes with that location whatever it gives that would become two bytes means a b c that, that's all nothing more to worry a b c hexadecimal value that's it now 2000 C would be the value address location for variable B. That's all. This is what called offset calculation. Offset in storage. This is meant for offset calculation. That's all. This scenario, if you could able to understand, visualize, you can write anything in the examination. Offset in storage. If structure or record, then pointer to a structure table. Already mentioned that record creation, structure creation, object creation, structure or object. Old is called record. Nowadays, a structure or object we can say. So these all it is complex to create and maintain and refer. So this is what information. These are all stored used by compiler this structure information object information offset value information declaration procedures whether local local or global if it is c static there are several concept comes into the picture data type and name you know very well what is all about this so these all the information stored in the symbol table then for parameter 
whether parameter passing by value or passing by reference. There are two types you know, pass by value, pass by reference. Pass by value, what you can see, just you can pass the name, name of the variable you can pass. Value also you can pass. You can pa call the function add of a comma b or you can call the function. See, imagine you have a user defined function add of 10 comma 12. You can use or else you can give add of a comma b. These are all called call by values. That is called by reference. You can call add of address of a comma address of b. Whenever you are fetching the address of some variable and passing on to the uh, particular uh, uh, routine or function, then it is called as call by reference. So these all the information provided by symbol table for the compilation process. <coughs> then number of argument, type of argument also. Base address. Base address is only meant for array. <coughs> Every array, the offset is calculated using base address. For example, if you are creating array int a of 10, <coughs> immediately base address is created. Base address is imagine 2000a, something 2000a, not just a 2000 also address. If I put A, you will understand something different matter I am talking here even for the feature reference, base address. Name of the array alone, name of the array alone indicates base address. If I start, what is that meaning? If I start telling only A, that is base address. If I start telling A of 1, then it indicates values. It indicates the value. <coughs> base address is 2008. Array is a base address. Number of parameters, type of parameters passed to the function. Why this all important? Mapping. So here, called function. Program call, call and callee. These two functions are caller and callee. Caller and calling. So to match the first parameter, if the person is passing this integer, it should match with integer. If the second parameter is float, then it should match with float. So for this matching, only then execution is possible. Matching or binding or uh, copying, value copying, these are all the activities happened into or during the symbol table. Uh, the support of compilation process. Symbol table, now the next point. Symbol table is built during lexical phases and syntactic analysis phases. When it is created, creation is happening with the first two phases. Utilization is happening by rest of other phases. That's all. Nothing more. Whatever the phases you know. Sim, uh, lexical, syntactic, semantic and intermediate code generation and code optimization, code generation. These are all the major phases. The first two phases, analysis phase, we can say otherwise also. These all useful for yeah, this uh, during the analysis phase, information is collected. The rest of the synthesis phase, normally it is first three phases are called analysis phase. What are all the analysis phase? The analysis phase are lexical analyzer, syntactic analyzer, semantic analyzer. So these three phases are helping or loading the information into the symbol table, creating. So built. These three phases are information is collected and symbol table is created. Symbol table is created during the time of uh, lexical phase itself and the symbol table is created. by the analysis phase, filled and created. Rest all the phase, synthesis phase means what? The rest of the back end phases, intermediate code generation, code optimization and uh, the code generation, intermediate code, code optimization, code generation. These three phases are termed as 
termed as uh, synthesis phase. These three phases are making use of the benefit of compiler. That's all. The, sorry, symbol table. Symbol table is benefited by these, these three phases, rest of three phases. First three phases are creating and filling the information. Symbol table. Early morning I will cook. Rest of the day I will sit and eat. It is like that. The first phase, lexical phase is creating the symbol table. Syntactic phase and semantic phase is filling the information. All the information loaded during rest of other two phases. Rest of remaining three phases, those are all called synthesis. That is intermediate code generation, code optimization, code generation. These three phases are making use of symbol table entries for further or program completion or program execution. That's all. So this is what all about the overview. With these two points, I will stop here at today. It is used by compiler to achieve compile time efficiency or not only compile time efficiency. It is useful also for input and input process and uptime output. Ultimately, we are doing coding or programming for this purposes only, inputting, processing and outputting. So this is what our objective. Anything you do, small program or the largest project also, this is what happening. <clears throat> now, symbol table can be created in a linear manner or a hash table manner. These two stuff we will discuss shortly in the next class. So this is what introduction all about symbol table. Today we just started what is all about symbol table. It is purpose of storing the symbol, maintaining the symbol information and supporting the entire compilation process. Symbol table is created by the compiler and it is useful for the compiler or for the compilation process only. What is when it is created during lexical analysis? When the entire symbol table information is filled during syntactic analysis, semantic analysis. Who are all taking benefit of this uh, uh, compiler? Only the rest of all the phases. One is uh, intermediate code generator, code optimizer and code generator. These three fellows are taking a larger amount of benefits. That's all. With that note, I'm concluding today. Let us continue in the next session.